apparently um, Joe Biden is a promise has made promises kept guy too he's gonna transition us from oil to some green shit would you close it down the oil the way I would transition from the oil industry yes oh I would transition a big it is a big statement that's a because big statement. I would stop why would you do that because the oil industry pollutes Biden's making it almost impossible to pump oil here he's not letting the oil companies pump he's not giving them permits and um, he's regulating the shit out of them. And we're going to go green, I guess, guys. We're going to go to wind and solar somehow. They don't like nuclear, so we're just going to straight cold turkey it. And I'd stop giving to the oil industry, I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. He won't give federal subsidies to the, to the gas, excuse me, to, the, to uh, solar and wind. Yeah. Why are we giving it to oil industry? We actually do All give right. it to solar and wind. We Joe Biden, he promised to get rid of fracking and oil. Uh, and he did. Right he off did. The bat. He's doing it. Yep. And right. he don't care how much misery it causes. And We're gonna go green, apparently. <laughs> it's not gonna work. What are we gonna transition to? Wind and, and solar? <laughs> is he fucking crazy? Yes, he is. He's crazy. You can't you can't deliver um, food products to stores off of wind and solar. He's demented. He's demented. He's got dementia and he's demented. Well, he's got his crackhead son telling him what the to do. Crackhead son. Apparently. And here we are. No countries are going to go green. It's okay to go green, but we got to figure it out as we go along. We don't just We don't just stop do pumping oil. You know, we can't other, just quit. And other countries think that, that what in the hell's going on with the United States of America? Yeah. You know, Biden keeps saying that the inflation uh, is worse around the world. That's a that's a lie. It's a bull it's the worst inflation is in this country. Yes, it is, and it's because of him. Do you know in Saudi Arabia they don't even have any inflation? None. I, 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 like one percent. You can't even feel one percent. Yeah. You know? I know. He's killing us. He is. China's not going green. They don't give a shit. No. They build a coal-powered power plant every week. Yeah, in China. In China. Yep. We're and he burning shot, coal like and, crazy. And he shut them all down here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He, he won't even let us, I mean, we ain't gonna be long, we're not gonna have, we're not gonna have electricity. We'll all be riding bicycles. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be eating bugs. And they weren't lying. Oh God. Yeah, did you hear about 2,000 cattle just killed over and died, they said, because of the heat? You know, that is so they much could, bullshit. Well, some reports are saying 2,000, some reports are saying 10,000. They, they did that on purpose. Somehow they poisoned them or something. Yeah, they want us to eat bugs. Yeah. I mean... Uh, We're going to own nothing and, and be happy, I guess. Somehow. Cattle owners all around the country have been saying that their cattle sits out in 100-degree weather all the time and nothing ever happens. Yeah. So. Something's fishy. Not to mention all the food processing plants that keep catching on fire. Oh, yeah, just for no reason at They're all. They're creating a food uh, shortage. And all the millions. Because there's too many people on the planet. And um, <laughs> if we can get rid of half the people on the planet, it'll be better for the earth. And all the millions Stupid. of chickens and turkeys that have just been killed yeah. because of this avian flu yeah. that doesn't exist. You know what's coming? What? Starvation is what's coming. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. We have to move toward a net zero emissions. The first place to do that by the year 2035 is in energy okay. production by 2050 totally. All right. One is final he going to get China to, to do it? No, we're finished with is this. He we going have to, to get move China on to, to our do final it? question. Yeah, Joe Biden made his promises. His promises made promises kept guy too, Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. He promised to get rid of oil. Done. He's doing it. Yeah, he doesn't much. care how much misery he causes. No. Nope. We're going to go straight to uh, wind and solar. How's that gonna keep a, I don't jet, know. a jet in the air? So we're gonna go to no more electricity, no more air conditioning, no more driving. Uh, just gonna have to walk or ride your bike everywhere. Apparently, because it's good for the planet. So the ocean uh, doesn't rise uh, one tenth of one percent over the next 300 years. Yeah, that sounds about right. We can't what are they doing in Congress? They're getting transgender bathrooms, so if you don't know what you are... They're going to spend millions of dollars to put a third bath... Wherever there's two bathrooms, the men and the women's, they're going to put in a transgender bathroom, yep. which nobody will use. Yep, it'll be the cleanest bathroom around. Why can't the Republicans fight that shit? Why are we always at the mercy of the weirdos? Hopefully that's going to change pretty soon, because I think in November, 
It's gonna look like the Kool-Aid man came up I guess in if they're gonna put transgender bathrooms in, they better do it now. Yep. Out of all the things we gotta worry about, they're worried about transgender bathrooms yeah. in Congress. Idiots. No more subsidies for fossil fuel industry. No more drilling on federal lands. No more drilling, including offshore. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. No oil. Yeah, no oil. No gas. What do you think about that? Joe Biden promised to, to not pump oil, and he's sticking to it. I think we need to pump more oil. We, we need well, to, he don't want to do that. Well, we're going to go green, dude. Yeah, we're going green, yeah. Yeah, or, uh, wind. Yeah, we're going to do wind. Yeah. And, and solar. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's not sustainable. We're literally going to go straight to that's all we can do is wind and solar, apparently. No other countries are going to be doing that. Right. Ridiculous. He's going to turn us into a third world country. China isn't going to do it. Yeah. They're going to use in coal. They're going to use oil. They're buying Russian oil. Joe Biden didn't um, ruin the Russian Russian economy. By, we only bought like 8% of our oil came from Russia. The Russian economy is doing great. There, our inflation here is worse than in Russia. America has the highest inflation around the world. So Biden is basically sanctioning the American people is what he's doing. Stupid prick. And when it comes to the gas prices, uh, we're going through an incredible transition that is taking place that God willing when it's over will be stronger and the world will be stronger and less relying on fossil fuels when this is over. Bus. What happened now? The Obamas put in for a uh, special permit to put a 2,500 gallon propane tank. That's a big propane tank. On their property. Well, that doesn't sound like wind or solar. No, and that's for uh, when the shit hits the fan type of, of oh. survival. It's oh. gonna last for a few years, I would say. Damn. That's 2,500 gallons. What is it, 4 or $5 a gallon for propane right know. now? He's got all the money in the world he Where stole from go. us taxpayers. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. it takes a special special permit for something that size because it's bigger than a bus. Yeah. Obama, the first half-white, half-black president. Half-Martian. <laughs> He's not all the way black, guys. No. Um, I wonder if Obama's gay. I think he, probably, he might be. Oh, his wife, Mike? Oh, yeah, Mike. Yeah. Mike Obama. So hey, uh, <clears throat> Biden is the uh, also a promises made, promises kept guy, because he promised to not pump oil here, and he's sticking to it. People are surprised. No fracking. Pe uh, no. He he's done exactly what he's promised. Yeah. You have to admit that. And people are surprised. Well, he's doubled down, and he's done it in short yeah. order. But we're gonna know? go straight to wind and solar. So, how's that gonna work? We're going straight to hell first, unfortunately. Yeah. They don't like nuclear. So we're not gonna build any nuclear power plants. We're just gonna do wind and solar. I fail to see how, we're, we're gonna transition into nothing. That's what he wants. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what they want. Our, our food supply is gonna be cut drastically because there's no fertilizer. Plus uh, Union Pacific Railroad said there's gonna be limits on how much they'll ship. Did you hear about all the cows that died yeah. uh, the other and day? And chickens. And chickens. Is this on purpose? Gee, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're in big oh, trouble. The guy up in Canada. We're in a recession, and I think we're going to be in a depression before long. I think the guys in Canada who started building these um, uh, underground bunkers mm -hmm. several years ago, about 20 years ago, he started building them. He is so busy now, and he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire building these bunkers everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Um, Bill Gates has one on every property he owns throughout the world. He's got his own bunker. Bill Gates is buying up farmland like crazy. He's the biggest farmland owner, right. and he's not doing anything with it. He's what buying it so nobody plants food on it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's a big plan to starve us to death. To. Yeah. So Biden kept his promises. He's not pumping oil, and he's not gonna. And no fracking, and no drilling in the Gulf, and no oil from Alaska, and uh, we're going straight to green. Only Russian oil. Yeah, well, we're only we're gonna go straight through transitioning into uh, green. We're transitioning straight into wind and solar. Well, that's not that's not working for me. Yeah. How are you gonna grill uh, some food on the grill with wind? I don't. I don't. Uh, how are you gonna drive to work on solar? I don't know how I'm gonna get my family of six in a tiny battery-operated car and go anywhere. 
It's gonna be like Mad Max before Biden's done with this. Well, the midterms are coming. It's gonna be a red wave, so the cavalry's coming. Yeah, thank At least God. we have that. Yeah. And then we can neuter that old bastard. And then we gotta wait him out two years. He'll be a lame duck. Look what and then we get Trump in there and he'll fix everything in a week. Look what he's done in two years already. He's about ruined us. 18 months and we're like a, almost like a third world. People are starving to death. They gotta choose between getting gas or getting food. I don't know. They can't even get baby formula here. It's nuts. Can't get tampons. The Democrats have passed them all out to men. That's because the way they raise these dudes now, their their vagina hurts. Yeah. And they need tampons. Yeah. They raised a bunch of pussies. Yep. That's it. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by Brittany Walker. She's running for Seminole County Commissioner here in Central Florida. We're gonna vote for her. So tell all your friends. We're gonna vote out the Zembauer guy. He said he was a conservative when we voted him in, but then he turned into a mask Nazi and. He wanted to mask kids uh, and close down businesses, so that guy's not going to work out. Brittany Walker, that's who we're going to get in there, Seminole County Commission. And then we're going to vote in uh, Rich Santos for Florida House Rep here in, in uh, Seminole County. And Drake Wirtz. Uh, let's vote him in for House Rep here in Central Florida. And then we're going to also vote in uh, David DeWire. He's in the Orlando area, so that's blue. But it's never been a better time to run against these crazy, insane Democrats than now. So we're going to turn the ship around Orlando, and we're going to vote David DeWire for Florida House Rep. And then let's get Sabatini in there. Okay, he's running for uh, Congress here in Central Florida, Seminole County. Sabatini, man, vote for that dude. We're not gonna vote for Corey Mills. Corey Mills has all the money in the world, so you're gonna see all kinds of ads from him, but he's the promises made, promises not kept guy. I had, I had invited him on my podcast twice, and he stood me up both times, so fuck that guy. Let's get Sabatini. Sabatini came in when he said he was gonna. He's a promises made, promises kept guy, Sabatini. Sabatini, I like him. He's a little, like a mini Trump. So let's get him in there. Screw Corey Mills. That dude sucks. Hey, follow me, guys. Facebook, YouTube, Rumble. Also, find me on uh, Instagram, Getter, Truth Social, and Twitter. Did I say Twitter? And Twitter. Do it! <laughs>